The Netflix show You, about a guy who stalks women, has been really big lately, and the star of the show, Penn Badgley, is in town talking to ASU students about dating. Yeah, Brittany Thomason interviewed him. Take a look. We have Penn Badgley here who plays Joe on you. I mean, Joe's a pretty scary guy. He's a stalker. He's a murderer. When you hear girls say they want to date your character, what's that like for you? Well, I think initially it was disturbing, but um, I think what I've also realized in time is that, like, he's a device. He's meant to be seductive, you know? I mean, so what it ends up being is a, is a portal to conversation where we can really think about why it is that we are attracted to a person like this and why, we're so also, why also that we're so willing to forgive um, the abusive behavior of a person who maybe, like, looks like me as opposed to somebody who, 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 who fits in another category. Maybe their, their skin color is different or their gender is different, you know, these sorts of things. Um, so that to me, to me, Joe is, is that reflection of ourselves. And it's understandable that actually because we've made him a seductive guy, that he's, he is that, you know. Is there anything you want to say to those girls? Um, well, first and foremost, I think um, if anybody is truly believing that Joe is somebody who they want to date, who I actually think number in the extreme few, you know, there's a lot of tongue-in-cheek humor on social media, just to clarify. Um, I think if anybody truly, truly is attracted to Joe as a, as like a, as a potential mate, and what they've seen of Joe, I think that means that person is, is... I mean, sometimes when we suffer abuse, you know, we're, we're, we're uh, almost at home in patterns of abuse. Um, so it's, a, it's, a, it's a really important for people to, um, to empower themselves, you know, to become protagonists for change in their home life and to actually, you know, protect themselves from that kind of relationship. So I think it's very important that we do not think of Joe as a as a suitor, you know, <laughs> yeah. Do you have any stalkers? I probably do, no, not real stalkers, not real stalkers, but I mean, I definitely have a lot of people who are wondering what I'm doing, I guess, and like asking, yeah, I mean, so kinda. I do have people who are constantly seeing me and taking pictures of me, as though I can't tell when, by the way, I can oh, almost always tell. It's like I have, the, I have ESP for it. And last question, what lessons do you think we can learn from the show when it comes to dating and safety? Yeah, well, I mean, sometimes I worry about about the show being like a cautionary tale because, again, it's Joe's not a clinical portrayal of a, of a or a portrait of a of somebody who does this. Um, it's more of to me like a cultural conversation and commentary. But if there is anything we can learn from the show about these patterns, is like when you see them, um, remove yourself from abusive situations rather than being drawn in. Rather than, rather than repeating these patterns of, of toxicity, you know? I mean, I would, I would hope that, that somehow that message is imparted. Well, thank you so much. It's a very important point about safety, about the way we view his character on the show. He's going to um, blow up big time. It's a very popular show. Well, it already has. I mean, I know you said you started watching it. That's right. There are a lot of people in our newsroom, too. Royal Norman and Brianna Whitney, I know they talk about it regularly, and apparent, I haven't gotten into it. Apparently, there are a lot of you know big reveals, big surprises, so a lot of people following what this show's talking well, about. Well, put right it now. in your queue. Well, I might have to do that then. <laughs>